Hey, this is Coach Boydston, and I thought I'd take just a few minutes to show you how I make these video intros um, to the screencasts that I do. Uh, for one, I think they make them more interesting, they make them unique to you, and it just kind of introduces the video in a fun way. So uh, the first thing we want to do is go down here to Keynote. Um, I use Keynote to do this, and so if you come down here to the bottom, we're going to click on Keynote, and we're going to launch a new document. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you the way I did the one, like I said, for the iTunes U course uh, intro. And obviously I have one for my personal ones, and I did one for my wife's course. But uh, I'm going to select this one. And so we're going to choose a background. I'm going to get rid of a few things here. And obviously I could go to the top as well and just say that I wanted a, a blank screen. Let's see if we can get rid of this. All right. So we're going to delete everything off that screen. I'm also going to come down here where it says 100% because this is big. I'm going to put 50%. All right, just so I can see my whole screen. And so now that we have our screen, we're ready to start putting things on it and uh, just kind of put some actions to it. One of the things we're going to want to pull up here is go up here to the top where it says Inspector. And we're going to want to pull up this Inspector because it's going to allow us to do some build-ins, build-outs. It also will add, allow us to put that stuff into a timeline so we can just hit click and let it roll through it kind of like a video. So let's get started. Uh, if you remember, we had a picture in there. So I'm going to go up here to the insert and then go to choose. And we're going to go and it's already pulled up for us. And so we wanted that picture of that Apple or the iTunes U icon. So it's already there in the middle. And what I wanted to do is select it and I want to come over here to the right and I want to give it a build in and I wanted it to dissolve. And you'll notice there's it gives me a little uh, preview up here in the top. So we got that dissolve build in. And if I go to my timeline, you can see that's the first thing that's going to happen. And if I come down here to the bottom, it says that that's going to happen on a click. And so when I click the button, that's going to happen. Everything else we build from here, though, we want it to automatically happen one after another without having to click again. So that was the first thing. And if you remember, the second thing that happened was a finger came up and uh, pressed this button. So let's go ahead and add that finger in there. We're going to choose. We're going to go to the file that I had for that that I pulled. And so this is a file, and we actually wanted to use this finger here. We didn't want all these fingers. And so one thing we can do is we can use this mask tool up and right. You have mask and you have this alpha tool. We're going to use both of those. I'm going to select mask, and I'm going to only select what it is that I want here. So I'm going to select here. Drop down just a little more. So we want just that that finger there. So we're still not there yet. We still can see this. We can still see the white and all that. We want to get that out of there. The alpha tool is going to let us do that. So what it allows us to do is get rid of certain things. So we're, I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to drag my cursor and keep moving it out until it expands and then let go. And that's gone. How about this hand here? And it's gone. Now let's get rid of the white. I want to make sure we don't get too much because we'll start to pull the finger a little bit. And there we go. So now when I click off of that, we have just a finger. So now we want to make it just slightly bigger. So I want that finger to be able to come in there and press my button right there. All right. So uh, I'm going to move that off the screen because that's where I want it to start. So I'm going to have it start down here off of the screen. And then I need to put an action in there. And so we have it selected. So if we come over to the right, we have actions. And I want it to move. And so I want it to move up to where I want it. So I'm going to click move here. And you can see that red line, it's showing where it's going to start. And then I'm dragging where I want it to finish, which is right here. And when I let go of this, we should see a preview up there in the top right. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of that. Everybody see that preview? All right, so it does show me that's where it's going to move to. And if we come over here to our options, we want this not to happen on a click. We want that to happen immediately, automatically after build one. So you can see what went on there. It diffused in or dissolved in, and then the hand came up. The next thing that you probably noticed was that the, uh, the icon looked like it got pushed. And so I'm going to select that icon again, and we're going to add another action. So I want to click Add an Action. You can see it just popped up here in my timeline. Um, the action we're going to add is not a move. We want to scale. And I don't want to scale it down that far. We're just going to scale it just a little bit. And again, we can see the little example going up there. So what it's going to look like is this is going to happen right here, and we want this to happen. Let's select it. We don't want it to happen on a click. 
we want it to happen automatically after build two. So again, all these things are going to happen side to side, and you can see our deal happen on the inside. The next thing I want you to push down is we want that thing to move. And so now that we have this highlighted, I'm going to click Add Another Action. And we want it to move up here in the right-hand corner. We also want it to shrink down a little bit, so I'm going to make it a little smaller so it will sit up here in the right-hand corner. Let's look at our preview. Touch. Press down, go there. And again, I can speed all this up. If you look over here on the right here, I can control the duration of each one of these moves. And so with those moves happening, that can happen there. And you can see it's all happening in our timeline. The next thing that I wanted to happen was I wanted the integrating iTunes U in the classroom to pop up. And so what we did is go up there and hit add text. And so we're going to type that out. All right, integrating iTunes U in the classroom. And I'm going to highlight that, make it just slightly bigger. Let's go a little bigger than that. Let's go 96. Get this out of our way. All right, and we wanted that centered. And you see those little yellow lines popping up, letting me know that it's centered. There we go in all directions. And we wanted to do a build in with it as well. So let's go build in. And I think I did flash bulbs on that online. Yeah, something like that. Maybe flash bulbs or lens flare. Let's see. Yeah, we did lens flare. So let's uh, we'll keep lens flare on there. But if we go to our timeline, we want that to happen after build six. And so again, we can see our preview here. Touch, scale, move, pop in. Now you'll notice we don't the hand's still the way. All right. So we got to go back and make sure the hand leaves. And so let's go click on our hand, which was this one here. All right, coming forward. And what we want to add to that one is, is we want to add another one to it. And we're going to want to, another action, and we're going to want to move. And we want that one to move right back out of the way. So let's try to line it up here with the same one. So it's going to move back out. So it's going to touch. All right, now we want it to move out as that other one is sliding. So I think that's our scale right there. So let's slide this up in between those. If you, if you didn't pay attention to what I just did right there, I took that gesture of the hand moving away and I moved it up in my timeline right next to uh, the one where it's scaling out. And so what we end up with, you can see our preview here. We want those to work together. All right, so I need to move it again. Let's go on the back side of scale. And we want it to do it automatically with build three. So let's look at that. All right, so we have, we have our keynote. So now how do we turn that into a video? And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to play the slide. So what I would do is I would open up Camtasia, which is the program that will capture everything that goes on my screen, and start recording. So everything on my screen is being recorded. Then I'm going to pull up the keynote I just created, and we're going to hit play. And we're going to let it play through that keynote. All right, and so Camtasia just captured everything that went on the screen there. So I'm going to escape out of that. And so now when we do that, it would drop it into Camtasia. When we click stop recording now, it would take us right into Camtasia, and Camtasia would look something like this. Now, I've already done it just to speed things ahead, but if you look down here in the bottom left, this would be right here. This is what we just got done capturing, and I'll scroll through it just so you can see it. All right, so that just got done capturing, and it's going to put it right there in my timeline, and I can trim it up. There's ways I can do that. Uh, if you ever work with any type of software that's video, you'll understand you can trim up the video. And so I got it right to where I wanted it. The next thing I did is I went to a website called freesound.org. And you go there, there's a lot of music that are six seconds long, 12 seconds long that you can use. And so I found a couple uh, sounds that I wanted. And so I had one here and here, and I just dropped them into my timeline. This little one right here is actually just a little button click. 
So when the finger touches, there's a little faint sound of a button clicking. And then I have some uh, the background music here. And then again, you know what the video intro looked like because it was right there at the front of this video. Um, so it was just a really cool way to introduce your videos using Keynote and Camtasia to capture that. So uh, I'm Coach Boyston. Hopefully that was beneficial. It can be a lot of fun uh, just to have your own uh, integrated uh, video intro to what you do. And so if you have any questions, just email me. I'd love to help you out. I hope you have a good day.